Here's another episode of Dorian Complains About His Life. So I don't know if I've been reading too many posts on the anti-work subreddit or if I'm just kind of burnt out, but I really feel like I'm really tired of the American dream. But it's also strange because if I wouldn't have tried to, you know, buy a house and get a job and invest money, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now financially, which I'm in a really good spot. But at the same time, I'm thinking like, man, is this all my life's ever going to be? Is it just going to be me going to work every day, sitting in front of a computer so I can have the white picket fence and the dog and the kids and all that crap that everyone tells you that you need to have? And it feels like I'm just stuck doing this same stuff every single day. And my work doesn't feel meaningful. And, you know, you could be like, oh, go find a new job or go find something that gives you more purpose. But... What? Find something that gives me more purpose and then try to figure out a way to make money off of it so then it ends up feeling like a job and I'm right back to where I'm at right now. Because that's really what I tried to do with YouTube and the blog websites and other ways that I'm trying to make passive income. It's the reason why I invested in cryptocurrency four years ago and it's the reason why I purchased a house because I want to, you know, do the right things to get to the right place in my life where I don't have to worry about money so much. But the truth is that I'm always going to have to worry about money. I can't just not work. I have to feed my kids. I need to pay rent. I can't just decide like, hey, I'm not going to do anything and just play video games all day. Most of those people don't make much money. The, the truth is that people that pursue their passions a lot of time end up in a career or in a lifestyle that leaves them kind of broke. And I don't want to be broke. I grew up really, really poor. I grew up broke. I don't want to have my kids have to deal with that. I wanna make sure that I can provide for them and give them the best life possible. But at the same time, it feels like, am I just setting them up for falling right into the same trap that I fell into? Am I just gonna tell my kids, like, pick yourself up by the bootstraps and go to work every day and tell them to, you know, give up on their dreams because their dreams are bullshit and they're not gonna make any money with their dreams. And I think about that and I'm just like, well, the truth is, yeah, like it's really, really hard to make money off of your passions. But we also live in a day and age where that's way more possible than it was before because of the internet. So why am I still working every day, doing a job that I, I don't really have a lot of passion for and doing something that I don't really enjoy? Why, why do I do that every day? Well because I have to, right? That's that's pretty much why we all go to work every day, but it just doesn't feel like what I want to be doing. So now I'm stuck in this conundrum of like, oh, should I just give it all up and, and try to live off of my savings for a while until I can pursue something that I really enjoy doing and figure out how to monetize it and, and do that? Or do I just keep going to work every single day until I'm 65 years old and I can retire so I can, you know, see the world a little bit before I die. It sounds like bullshit. It sounds like, it sounds like somebody tricked us into thinking like this is the way that we have to live our lives, but the truth is that I'm really comfortable the way I'm living my life right now. And I don't wanna take a huge pay cut and not have any money to pay for the things I like and not have any money to pay for soccer practice for my kids or jujitsu classes for me and my family. And I want to be able to afford all these nice things that I wasn't able to have when I was younger because I didn't have a lot of money and now I do. And the harder I work, the more money I get, which is ironic because because I don't want to continue to have to work so hard. So, so I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the American dream. I don't know if this was just one big lie and I fell for it or if it's actually the best thing possible. My mother is Cuban and that whole side of the family came from Cuba and they lived in a communist country. And I know at least secondhand from stories that they told me that it, I'm a lot better off living in America. I understand that I'm talking from like a very privileged position and I know that a lot of people who live in third world countries would just kill for the opportunities that I have. But at the same time, why does it have to be that way? Why do, why do we all have to struggle so much? Even in America, I know that, that this isn't how it is for everyone. I grew up in a really bad neighborhood. I know what it's like to be poor in America and I know that there's two sides of this country and I know what both sides look like. And I know people who were fairly wealthy. I don't know any billionaires, but I, I know that there's that side of America and I also know that there's the side of America where kids 
don't even know if they're going to be able to eat that day. And I know that there's a side of America that's that's really dark and grim, and it's just the truth. And so the American dream, who does that apply to? Who is that really for? Yeah, you can work your ass off, and if you're lucky and everything lines up for you, you can really make it in this country, and you can really afford nice things. But for the most part, you'll probably just end up about average and the more you look now it seems like the more the middle class is getting eliminated and it's like poor and rich and there's really no in between anymore and when you think about it then why why work so hard for this american dream that really only profits the people who are already very wealthy and you just scramble around trying to just you know, save up as much as you can so you can buy that first house, but then now we're getting strangled out by inflation and, and homes are just ridiculously expensive and the average person can't really afford a home. I'm lucky that I purchased my first home 10 years ago and we were able to gain a lot of equity and things worked out for us. But if I tried to purchase my first home right now and I didn't have money saved up from the equity that I've gained and the little bit of money that I've made through my cryptocurrency investments and whatever other stuff that I've done that has gained me a little bit of money, I really don't see it being feasible for me to purchase a house because it just feels like that's becoming more out of reach. And you see kids now who are coming out of college trying to get their first job to hopefully make you know fifty or sixty thousand dollars a year, and they have like a hundred thousand dollars in in student loan debt. And and it's really strange because I just don't understand this system anymore, and I don't like it. But I'm kind of I'm kind of at that point where I'm like that dude in the Matrix that knows that the steak is not real, but it still tastes good, and he doesn't care. I know this steak doesn't exist. I know that when I put it in my mouth, the Matrix is telling my brain that it is juicy and delicious. After nine years, you know what I realize? Ignorance is bliss. And I feel like that's where I'm at, right? Like I'm in the matrix. I know I know I'm in it. I know I'm stuck doing what I'm doing now. I know if I want to keep affording the things that I have, I have to keep working hard. And if I want better things, I've got to work even harder and find more ways to make money. But I know that the reality is that that stuff doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, it doesn't. Like the things that really matter are your health and your happiness. And in order for me to continue to make money, I feel like I keep having to sacrifice my health and my happiness and my relationships with my family. I'm honestly sick of it. I don't want to do it anymore, but what do I do, right? It's it's just weird. And I, I guess I was, I was thinking of this video and I was thinking, you know, like the American dream's a scam or I don't really like the American dream anymore. And I'm just not sure what I'm going to label it, but that's just the thoughts that I had on my mind. And I wanted to make a video talking about that. If you feel the same way about these things, let me know in the comments. And I know that many of you out there are trying to learn how to code so you can make more money and try to get a better job. And I know that many of you are trying to pursue this dream and trying to better your lives. And I don't want to make these videos to like discourage anyone from bettering their lives because yeah, it, it's great to get a better paying job and to make more money. We all need more money, right? But at the end of the day, is, is this dream we're being sold really as good as it seems? Or does it just keep us on a hamster wheel working that nine to five until we can't work anymore and then we, we get a little bit of time before we die to enjoy our lives? Should we be enjoying our lives now and figuring out a way to live a better life and try to make money different ways than what we've been told we need to do and maybe pursuing our passions and trying to you know make money creatively is the way to go? I don't know, I'm torn on it. All right, with all that said, Thanks for listening to me rant. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you next time.